Hello everyone, welcome back to Black Moon Coven. This is part two of using orange peels in magic, and today we're gonna to be making a fetish bag. So a fetish bag is a type of amulet that you put correspondence into to relay your intention. So what you're gonna be needing for this fetish bag is of course the material. I chose black because it's a color of power. And not only that, it repels negativity. So that is one of the things that we're gonna want this fetish bag to do. You're gonna need two sigils. Yes, I said two. One to repel negativity and one to attract positivity. So this is gonna be a counterbalance fetish bag. You're gonna put two sigils on there. You're gonna counterbalance each other and you're gonna be balanced out. You're gonna be doing two things at once. So it's just another way to kind of add more advancement into your sigil magic or into your magic in general. So the next couple things you're gonna be needing are of course our orange peels, clover tops. This could be substituted with chamomile, lavender, and mint. But you can substitute this with rosemary or sage or basil and of course a bell. So these ingredients right here are going to attract our positivity. Now to repel negativity, that's why I chose black, but we're also going to be using a crystal. Now you can use smoky quartz, you can use hemonite, which is what I'm going to be using, or you can use black tourmaline. So anything with really, really heavy repelling negativity or grounding properties will work here. So if you have another crystal that you'd want to use, that's totally fine. If you have a quartz crystal and you don't have any of the others, just enchant it before you put it into the fetish bag. And of course, you're gonna need your needle and thread and your scissors and a piece of chalk. And we'll get to that in a second. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is of course create your sigils days beforehand. So days before you plan on doing this, create your sigils and create them both at the same time and do both of your creation methods at the same time. So then you'll have them ready and then you don't have to worry about that. So now we're gonna create our fetish bag. The fetish bag is going to be very simple. So anyone with little to no sewing experience could definitely do this. I've seen some really beautiful fetish bags with beads and all of that cool stuff. So you can get as creative as you want with these things. They could be in any shape, any color, any size. We're gonna do a very simple square one. So it's going to be just one that you could have on you as a jewelry type of thing. So it's not gonna be very big. The only thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fit your crystal inside of it. And then leave some room, of course, for the herbs. So take your crystal and put it on the fabric itself and then trace out a little rectangle, a little square, whatever you like to do shape wise. Make sure that you cut a little bit extra on the top because it's going to be folding over. So this is way more than enough fabric, okay? Make sure that you fold over because we're going to be sewing these sides on the outside to make a little bag to put everything, a little pouch to kind of have on us. So what you're going to want to do here is flip the bag inside out. And this is going to be our little sewing lesson today. Flip the bag inside out because you're going to be ending up turning it right side out, if that makes sense. So flip the outside of the bag inside, okay? So then you wanna take your needle and thread. You wanna make sure that you've looped the thread into a little knot at the end and let your needle dangle loosely. So you're gonna take your fetish bag and you're gonna start sewing it and whatever way you feel comfortable, but I'm just gonna do a quick whip stitch. And what that means is that I am putting the needle through the fabric, like so, pulling it. And you can see, or you can't because it's black on black, but it makes a little stitch every time you do that. So I don't know if you can see, 
but it does make a little stitch on the end. So you just keep doing that until your bag is completely, not completely sewn because you're going to need to leave an opening to um, get your crystal and your herbs inside. So what I would recommend if you are sewing a rectangle is do the two sides on the side, leave the top open because then you could do some pretty nice detail work there. So I am going to sew this and when I'm done, we're going to be putting our crystals and our herbs in. So we have sewn our fetish bag. So this is the inside of the bag. Now what you're gonna wanna do is carefully flip it inside out, or right side out, because this is gonna be the right side of the bag. This is the pretty side that you want everyone to see. So you're gonna be flipping that right side out. Make sure that your stitches hold that they're in place. You could even use a different color thread if you want to make it even more which you like, but that is the size of it. So that's going to be how it's going to look. Leave this end open. So then now we're going to be putting our herbs and our crystals in. So before we do that, you take your sigils and on each side, you're going to be marking one of these sigils. So the reason why we're going to be using chalk instead of paint or Sharpies or anything else like that is because sigils are not permanent. So this chalk is going to be rubbing off and the sigil will eventually disappear. But that'll be a reminder for you to re-enchant this specific fetish bag. So you're going to take one side, draw the attracting positivity and then repelling negativity on the other side. So now we have our attracting positivity and repelling negativity sigils drawn on. So now what we're going to do is the fun stuff where you're going to stuff this little bag. So the first thing we're gonna do is of course our orange slices because you know that's the whole reason that we're doing this is to show you guys that everything can be used in magic, literally everything and they still smell like oranges, so that's great. You don't wanna to put too much in there because they take up a lot of space, but this is plenty. Three, four little pieces. That will be really attracting your positivity, making you happy, everything else. And lavender. So just a pinch, you don't need too much, especially lavender because it's potent and you will smell it through the bag. Some clover tops. Again, you could substitute this with chamomile. Clover tops are just these little flowers. Um, I associate them with magic and self-love. So I'm gonna put a couple of these in here. I got mine from Alchemy Arts, but I'm sure you could get them online or you could just pick them wild. And mint. Mint is another herb of happiness and attraction and a bell. So every time I do a witch's ladder or witch's bracelets or anything with attracting positivity or attracting something, I put a bell in there because it'll like ring and it'll attract positivity or whatever you want it to attract. So it's putting that in there. Or if you want, you could dangle the bell from the bottom so it's constantly dangling, but it'll dangle enough. And now for the repelling negativity part is your hemonite stone. I love using hemonite. It's really, really heavy. It's really good for grounding, protection, and repelling negativity is definitely a key component. So I'm gonna put that in. And now your fetish bag is nearly completed. It's almost full. So now with the top side, the side that you left open, you're gonna to wanna to sew it. So you're going to flip the ends inside just to make it nice and pretty so none of the raw edges stand out. So if you flip it inside like you're flipping a sock or anything like that, you're gonna get something like that. So you're gonna flip it inside so it has two lips at the end. And now you're just going to sew that closed. You can go fancy and do a blind stitch if you really wanted to so then you wouldn't see any of the stitching but 
I think the more homemade it looks, the more witchy it looks. I really love that look. So we're just going to sew this clothes completely. So you're going to measure out enough string to have it hang down to whichever length you want it to. And then you're going to sew it to the ends like I'm doing here. Make sure that you're poking your needle right through that thread. Make sure that you are grabbing it right with that needle because if you don't, it's going to come loose and you really don't wanna pick up your bells and herbs and everything from the sidewalk. So make sure that it's nicely done, sewed a bunch of times so it just does not come out. And we snip and there you go. You made your first fetish bag. So if you don't like the chalk idea, you could use paint. That's totally up to you. This for me just helps me remind myself that I have to enchant this bag and I do that on the full moons or new moons depending on what it is. So isn't this cute? And it'll jingle and most of all, it'll smell really great because you have, you know, oranges and lavender in there and mint and it'll smell really great. So every time you're feeling like it's really down, not that positive, take a little sniff of this and it'll be like aromatherapy for you. So that is it. That is day two of using orange peels. We have one more video coming up where I use orange peels as a way of cleansing. So stay tuned for that and join my coven if you have not subscribed yet. Follow me on Instagram and most importantly, all of my pagan and witches aminos. And until next time, I will see you guys.